Hey guys, so here we have the Nitro Planes by Exceed RC brand, and this is the F4E Phantom. This is the 64 millimeter edition of the EDF motor. It has a wingspan of 542 millimeters and a length of 788 millimeters. So let's take it out of the box. I literally have not even looked at it. All I did was kind of undo the box for the video. So let's pull this up. Now I got the receiver ready version and I'm going to be adding in a Spectrum AR6110E receiver. Let's take a look at this. In the box we have a LiPo charger, we have the nose cone, now the light, oh I did not know this came with a battery, okay comes with a battery that has a Dean's connector. It is a 25C 11.1 volt 1300 mAh. I didn't even know this came with a battery, so that's nice. Ready to go with the battery, just no receiver or transmitter. We have the main wings with ailerons pre-installed and look like pretty good servos in there. They don't look small. Uh, I don't know what, what uh, gram weight they are, but they they look pretty good size. So not bad. Both the wings are attached in this bag here, but this is both of the wings. Let's see what some of this other plasticky stuff is. We got the wheels. Got some glue and some uh, control control arms there. Some more instructions. In here we have the canopy, or whatever you would call this. I call it the canopy. And then we have, underneath the fuselage, we have what looks like to be the vertical stab, as well as maybe another vertical stab. Uh, just going to have to see where they go on the plane there. And then we have the fuselage. So let me actually, really quick, put the camera in my legs here, if I can hold it, and uh, see if we can... I'll just get this plane on the bag here. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a closed bag, so I wonder if I have a knife on me. No, let's see how easy it is. Oh, it rips really easy to bag. Alright, so here's the fuselage. And the fuselage. Turn on. The fuselage looks pretty nice here. We have, um,. Pre-installed servo in the back here. Got to be for the elevator. I'm not sure if this plane has ailerons. Uh, I mean rudder. I know it has ailerons. I'm not sure if it has a rudder. I know it has an elevator. It has a steerable turn uh, nose wheel, and it has ailerons. I'm not sure if it has a rudder. I don't think so. Um, let's see how we get into the main body anywhere. Uh, down in here doesn't look like much. That might be supposed to be closed. I guess that's just to kind of get into, uh, this is just to get into manage the steerable nose wheel. Set up the linkage if you have to change it. Doesn't look like it fits in very nice. Uh, this is too high, this screw. But, um, that's okay. I just wonder if that's gonna, let's see here. This is gonna move forward and backwards, probably. So, hopefully that doesn't get in the way of anything. Uh, underneath here, we have the battery port with your Dean's, a little out of focus, there we go, with your Dean's connector, so the battery goes in here, and you know, the 1300, looks like it'll fit in here fine, we might be able to fit an 1800 if we cut out some foam. The 1300 will fit in there just fine, that's what it comes with stock. It has a 25 amp ESC, and I'm looking to see if we can get in any inside of the body at all here. I don't want to break anything, but it looks like this. Mm, I'm going to break something. This looks like it is magnetic. You see how it's coming up? There we go. Let's see if we can get this up here. I don't know if this is really supposed to come up. It's not coming up very easily. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. So inside the body of the plane, we have our 25 amp ESC. Can't see any writing on it, but it's supposed to be a 25 amp ESC. And our 65 millimeter brushless fan and EDF motor. EDF fan and motor in there. And then in the back, there's our exhausts. There's a dual exhaust, but one fan. So that's the plane. Um, it looks like I'll probably put the receiver... Now where are all my wires? Alright, down here. Were there any wires in here? I need my servo wires. Um, no, they're not in there. They're not in there. So let's check up on top again. Where are my servo wires? Because I need to put my ES my receiver somewhere. Ooh, I'm kind of confused. <laughs> Usually, there's an easy place to find... This is glued on, but not very well. Came off real simple. Um, where is my wires? Where's my receiver wires? My servo wires? This I just ripped off, but as you can see, it's just a little tiny bit of glue holding it in. So I'm going to re-glue this in, of course. That's no problem at all. Um, but I'm just looking for my wires. Throw this uh, extra parts into the box here until I use them. Where's my receiver go? <laughs> you know? Doesn't... I don't see my receiver wires anywhere. In the battery compartment we have... Oh, you know what? They have to be under here. Mm-hmm. That's where it's got to be. Under here. This is where all my wires are going to be. Now, I don't have a screwdriver on me in this room, so I'm not going to take this off right now, but this has to be where my receiver servo wires are going to be going. So we'll check in here. I'll add in my AR6100E and we'll be ready to fly. Now this is a fairly small plane, so I'm hoping the 64 millimeter and 3 cell gives it plenty of power, but we'll just have to see. So uh, we'll get this in the air soon, and uh, we'll see how it flies. It feels really light, so I don't know, I've had some problems before. Uh, my F117, as you guys have seen, I've even upgraded to a 4 cell, it doesn't really fly good. And I think that just has to do with uh, poor quality and poor engineering on the foam. Uh, but we'll see. This one is an e Exceed RC, which is one of uh, Nitro Plane's better brands. Uh, the Max Jet and Guan Li, some of those are really poor quality. So this is an Exceed RC. So we'll see. I'm, I've heard that the Exceed RC is one of their better brands, so we'll see how it flies. But um, there you go. There's the F4E Phantom. Alright guys, here's the F4E Falcon, completely built, and it's pretty nice. Uh, one thing I noticed about it, over the other planes from Nitro Planes, is the landing gear seems a lot more sturdy. Over Guan Li, it's got nice thick landing gear, we'll have to just see how it holds up, but the metal seems a lot thicker and stronger. Um, pieced it together pretty quick, it took me probably about half an hour to 45 minutes to get it fully built from out of the box to built. Um, let me show you here, just it working. I got it binded to my DX7. Just got the ailerons here. I set them up for not the highest throw. They're kind of on the, they're on the farthest uh, servo linkage, but only on the second control arm link. So later on I might give those more throw. But for now it should be an easy roll. Still has lots of throw. They're moving a lot. So we'll see what happens. Elevator's pretty cool. The whole tail moves. Now it doesn't move very much actually, but it's right next to the jet's exhaust, so it might work pretty good. But um, I could have it move a little more, I think, because it's uh, not moving that much. But then again, it is the whole whole horizontal stab that's moving. It's not just a, an elevator. You know, I mean, it's the whole thing is an elevator. So, pretty neat. Um, see here, we got the steerable nose wheel. We 
And of course, the power. So uh, it seems like it's like it's going to be good. Now uh, this plane has about the same power setup as my F117. That, as everyone who's watched my videos knows, the F117 is horrible, and it was extremely underpowered, especially with the stock setup. So this is pretty much the same power setup. So we're going to have to see if the same hardware will fly good on a different plane. Different uh, body shape, different fuselage, of course, you know, a completely different setup of the body. So I'm hoping it flies better. Um, it's uh, one of their better brands, it's the Exceed RC brand. So, uh, get this up in the air soon.